QIA has a global investment mandate of 300 billion US dollars and focuses on investments away from the hydrocarbon industry. It has already bought into the Safari Motel here in Vinduk and identified Namibia along with South Africa and Zambia as key strategic investment locations in Southern Africa. Last week, President Gainkop met with a high-level delegation of the Investment Authority in Qatar. Presidential Economic Advisor James Nupe says the meeting was followed up with concrete and all-round discussions which resulted in the imminent visit by a delegation from the Investment Authority. Namibia is now in the process of putting together some portfolios of investment opportunities in anticipation. Tourism for them is important and they don't just look at um, lodges or a hotel, they look at, at a bundled offering. So we're going to be looking at airline, uh, we're going to have conversations about airlines, we're going to have conversations about airport infrastructure, and we're going to have conversations about um, the actual sort of um, you know, uh, hotels and or lodges. So we're packaging some options for them to come and look at. Uh, so that's tourism. From a, from a transport logistics perspective, um, there's interest in, in both ports, uh, both in Ludritz and of course in Walvis Bay as well. Um, they work very closely with some of the players who are interested in the ports. So that's, that's another one. Um, and of course, they're very interested to then have a conversation around rail. Um, because the rail, of course, really unlocks the potential of the port. So that's the whole transport infrastructure logistics. And then, of course, renewable energy. The discovery of oil in Namibia featured prominently during meetings as the Qatari authorities view investment in the full exploitation of the hydrocarbon resource as strategic, although a lot more work needs to be carried out. The, the oil discovery still has some, some work to be done. You know, we have to drill some more appraisal wells uh, before you reach to uh, commercial and financial close and before you start production. You know, some of the officials here were sort of saying three to five years before we get there, you know, but they are accelerating that drilling program where they can. So it's a very strong and strategic investment for them. It's not a small amount of money. We were hearing six billion barrels, uh, maybe up to 11, depending on some of the results. So it's a big commercial opportunity. Faisal Altani, who is the QIA's chief investment officer for Africa and Asia, will lead the Qatari delegation, which is expected to be in Namibia, between the 10th and the 15th of March. Peter Denk, NBC News.